guys, you're watching Scuff TV. Today, we're taking a trip to Taiwan where we catch up with bodyboard shaper Jared Gibson. Jared takes us on a tour of his studio and also talks to us about his innovations and design process. I'll tell you more about it, but to be honest, with Rob Sherwood and Jared on the case, I think I'll leave it to the professionals to take the reins on this one. I don't really grasp the concept of nine to five work hours when it comes to design. It doesn't really work like that. It's like, you know, 2 a.m. You might wake up and you've got an idea and, and you just want to get into it. So, you know, time doesn't really matter. I've been shaping since I was 16 and all I ever remember wanting to be was a board shaper, you know. Couldn't really think of a better career, it's, you know, surfing and shaping, who wouldn't want to do that? I've been coming to Taiwan since I was 22 and, you know, now at 31 it's, it's become a home away from home. The travel aspect of getting here, it's, it's pretty unique, you know, you come to Asia and you get to see and experience a whole lot of things that you'd, you'd never imagine. There's so many little unique things about Taiwan and the culture, different foods, eating many, many different little creatures. I never thought I'd, I'd try, but it's all part of the experience and it's why I love coming here. When you start a design process you have to establish what your key objective is like right from the start. It's more so about the conditions you want for peak performance. What works for one location doesn't necessarily work for the other so there's a lot of tweaking here and there just to get the, uh, to get the design right. I don't know when it happened but I guess I got to a, a stage in my career where people really started to take notice of my work which is it's a pretty amazing feeling. Uh, a lot of the time you know it's, it just starts from an idea and it, and it flows from there. So I started looking at our board construction stage by stage you know from start to finish and looking at where we could improve performance of flex and recoil. One day it was just like a, a light bulb went off, you know, like why not try to create an energy layer that could absorb and, and refract compression across the surface of the board. So we developed the skin with a three-part interface using a PP composite with a, a central polymer layer. It had high elasticity properties, basically just gave rebound flex. Skin tech could absorb impact compression and turn it into positive energy. So we could limit cell collapse and in turn made it for a more responsive and, and powerful board. It's been a two year project to refine and perfect skin tech, but this is just the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> 